It is getting worse out there on the roads. The North Dakota DOT has shut down I-29 from Fargo to the Canadian border and I-94 from Fargo to Bismarck. It's because of what they say are life-threatening driving conditions. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner is giving us a look this morning at what people will be up against when they head out the door. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Jordan and Lisa. I'm here on Main Avenue in West Fargo, right outside of that road closure to I-94 out to Bismarck. And just to give you a perspective of what it looks like out in Bismarck and Jamestown area, Jamestown police took to their Facebook page this morning, urging people to stay put and to stay in their homes as driving conditions on their roads are nearly impossible. And why? So when you're looking out your window this morning here in Fargo and West Fargo, you might just see some of that wind in those icy road conditions conditions. It's getting much worse. This wind is getting gustier and stronger. Just sitting in the storm ve uh, storm team vehicle, it was definitely shaking. And as you can see to my right here, the sign for I-94 East and those power lines are definitely rattling and the road conditions are getting slicker that blizzard is starting to move in. So you're going to want to stay put today. There are those traveling uh, advisories in effect for a reason because that blizzard is what we're anticipating is going to be nasty today. So if you can stay home and stay put, that is definitely advised. Yeah, good advice. And uh, we can not only see it, seeing those chains, uh, the, the signs, signs <laughs> shaking, we can hear it in your mic as well. Abby Furchner reporting live for us. Thank you. Stay safe out there. And for all of you out there today, stay safe as well. Travel is not advised again in a lot of parts. And to give us an overview of exactly what happened and what we can expect, here's Lisa Green. Good morning. We're looking at more snow moving through the valley. Fargo will see more snow moving in and the wind will be a problem for all of us. You can see our sky cam shaking just a little bit here. I've been hearing from some of our viewers. One of our viewers in West Fargo says his power has been flickering a little bit. Some viewers down in the Brampton, Havana, Rutland area in the, along the state line in South Dakota also say they have some power outages going on there too. So the wind is going to be a big factor for us today regardless of snow. But throw some snow in there and we've got visibility problems. This is out toward Colum out in the south and west along Highway 13. Visibility very low in that area. Uh, looking at our snowfall reports in that region, we've had a foot of snow reported in Ellendale, Park River, Valley City, and Grand Forks about five inches of snow. This should actually say seven inches of snow in Park River. And Fargo, you can see we've had a measly 0.9 and that's snow and slush combined. So we were right in that transition zone when this started up. So we'll have lesser snowfall totals in the FM Metro. I think a lot of people will probably be thankful for that. But there is snow coming in and you could see this large area of it uh, that's going to gradually work eastward. You can see some advancement here a little bit into Polk County, very just slight, but it gives you an idea of what we'll be seeing. And overall, again, the system will just slowly slide eastward with some scattered areas of snow, some pockets of heavier snow within that. And then the wind. Here's a look at our winds gusting into the 40s. Augusta 49 in Jamestown. We've had some 50 mile per hour gusts there straight out of the north. And this will transition eastward. So we'll all see some windy conditions with gusts getting up into the 50s to potentially 60 miles per hour. And again, that's a threat regardless of whether we're dealing with snow or not. Visibility down where the snow is falling, less than a mile there. And then over to the east, we do have lowering visibility because of fog, because of mist, and all that moisture that's still in the air out ahead of this system. So temperatures are into that above freezing range for some of us in the east, many of us out to the west below freezing and gradually through the day we'll watch those temperatures slip. So where we have some ponding, where we have all that slush, very gradually we'll watch that start to freeze up into tonight. So adding more snow to the system in that band, more likely that three to six inch range. For Fargo, I think we'll be in that one to three inch range total with this storm system once it's all said and done. And taking a look at that hour by hour planner, you can see it moving through, the snow breaking up as well into the afternoon and evening, but that wind stays with us into tonight and that will continue to be a problem until late. It's not until Friday morning, I think, where we'll have a good shot at cleaning up from this mess. Let's check in now with Al for an update on traffic. Morning, Lise. Good morning, everyone. We're in uh, North Park, up on uh, 12th Avenue North, right near NDSU, and uh, it almost feels like business as usual up here from a traffic perspective. Lots of folks out and about this morning, but I'll tell you something. The big deal this morning is the slush in the, in the metro area. It is very, very slippery. In fact, when I was coming down the 12th Avenue North uh, Bridge headed east here, 
felt a little bit like I was at the dike on a toboggan because basically the vehicle was just sliding down the hill. It's very, very slippery this morning in the slush. Make sure you're looking up for that. Also, ponding this morning. That's definitely an issue. Water catching away where it would normally drain. The drains are frozen over. Water is ponding on them. That's particularly a problem on uh, that I saw on uh, Vets Boulevard also, excuse me, on the 9th Street in West Fargo and also on 45th. Just a couple of the places to look out for. Bottom line is, if you're in the metro area, you can get around, but slow down and take it easy. Alamut Valley today traffic.